We thirst for that which we are. Jesus on the cross said, I thirst. It was a physical thirst, but it was also a spiritual thirst. That thirst that he had was so tremendous, and the road that led him to the cross was very painful to watch. His destined purpose collided with the failure of mankind on the cross. His inner circle abandoned him. The one that said, I will die for you, betrayed him three times. Jesus looked at him, and then he was falsely accused and condemned by a court that was illegal. The Pharisees handed him over to the government, and he was beaten, bruised, and he was, in Isaiah 53 it says, he was marred beyond description that you would not even recognize him to be man. And then we see that he was handed over to Pilate. Pilate was a reasonable man. He didn't see anything that was worth punishment of death. But in order to fulfill or to appease the narrative of that time, he handed him over back to the people. He said, what shall I do with this man? Should I release Barabbas or should I release Jesus? They said, release Barabbas. What should I do with this Jesus of Nazareth? And they said, crucify him. So we see that this long journey, he had a very much, he was very much thirsty. There was a physical thirst. And on the cross, he said, I thirst. And mankind did not understand what they were doing. They dipped a sponge filled with vinegar and put it up for his mouth, up to his mouth. And then he said, it is finished. Tetelestai, it is finished. The purpose for what he came for and the failure of mankind collided on the cross. He said, it's finished. We thirst for that which we are. He had a physical thirst. He bypassed the Son of Man, the infirmities and everything that he suffered so that you and I could be reconciled back to the Father. That was the spiritual thirst he had. He went through all of that so that you and I could have reconciliation with the Father. And the type of worship the Father seeks is worshipers who will worship him in truth and in spirit. Spirit, because we are body, soul, and spirit. The spirit man became dead when we sinned in the Garden of Eden. On the cross, he reconciled us back to the Father, breathed in us a new way of living, which is the breath of life that Jesus came and gave back to us so that we can have oneness with the Father. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. What is the truth? The truth is knowing that God for so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And the truth is the word of God. So when we worship God, we live in obedience to the word after we have been reconciled with the Father. And that is the thirst that he had on Calvary. More than the physical thirst, he had a spiritual thirst that longed to, for us to be in fellowship with him. And I pray that everyone who hears this voice of mine will understand the greatest love that God the Father has for us so that we, after our life here on earth, we will spend eternity with him. So let us live eternity conscious, knowing that there is a tomorrow, that there is an eternity, and God seeks for us to be reconciled back to him. May the Lord bless you and strengthen you to live out this life in purpose like our Lord lived in purpose so that we can share this good news to someone else. May the Lord bless you.